do you say yes? That, how do you say no? All right. Okay. Um, it, I think she said Israel. Israel? Israel, right? Your name's Israel? Yes. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. Um, are you allergic to doxycycline, tetracycline, or any other cycling medication? No. Okay, I'll take that too. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Is that a no? Okay, I'll take that one. <laughs> um, can you, are you able to take a pill? To swallow a pill? No? Alright. So, are you less than 18 years old? No. Stop thinking toxic. Okay, so what? So we can give him the doxy with the fact sheet and the crushing information. Right? You said you cannot swallow pills? Or, Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you, Israel. He can't swallow pills. He can't. He can't. He can't. He can't. So we physically had a yes. All right. And then you take the bag and the information to the white tent over there. All right. Okay. Fine job. Good job. Thank you, Israel. Uh, my screeners have abandoned me today. <laughs> How are they doing? My screeners are great. Great. Very interested in learning and understanding what's going on today. So it's been a great day. So we just had a gentleman here who was communicating with sign language. Um, so talk a little bit about like how that communication style went and what could have gone better. Or... Nurses that I was working with today haven't had as much experience uh, in the intellectual disability community. And so the comment was that there were many different ways by this individual to communicate yes or no. And my comment was that it's the same way we would all communicate yes or no, that I might shake my head at you, I might say no, I might laugh, I might just cross my arms, so that every individual might have a different way, whether it be sign language, whether it be pointing to a yes or no card, whether it may be looking up or down, and they may do them all at the, in the same interaction. So there's not one way to say yes or one way to say no. We all may feel differently about it at different times. Um, don't bring any preconceived ideas to the table. Um, you cannot judge anybody by coming up to the table. You need to learn to know that individual just as we need to learn to know every individual. So if somebody comes up in a wheelchair, don't judge them. If somebody comes up without a wheelchair, don't judge them. Treat them as equals and find out what they need and then react.